Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so sorry that I have not been here. I'm going to do a quick update video for you and upload it while I film some true crime stuff so that you guys know that I am okay. So you, obviously you guys know that my mom's been in the rehab facility and I'll talk about that in a minute. And you know that I fell and then broke my foot and, um, I don't remember if I told you, so it's like a, like a, like a wind tunnel of things just keep happening. So the heat in John's car broke, so we had to borrow a car so that he didn't freeze. And then our washer broke and my sister, thank God helped us get a new one because I went like two weeks without one and I was like I was wearing scrub pants to the rehab facility because I had no clothes and I was not going to sit at a laundry mat when I'm not at the rehab facility I'm at home because I want to be at home anyway and then uh, okay let's see what else happened so this past week has been a doozy Sean's computer caught on fire like literally it and sparked and there were flames and I was in the bathtub when it happened so I was like what was that oh my god and then I could smell it you know he's like it's fine it's fine but now he doesn't have a computer so he's driving me insane like I'm like go away go 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 do something else like I need to film and I need to research and you're in my way and this was plugged into his computer when it happened so I was like oh man if you ruined my
the strength to lift him with her pant legs. She couldn't get her feet in the bed. So, I could see why, if she was trying to get into bed, that she wouldn't make it. But, the last time they weighed her, she was 85 pounds. She has no cushion. If she falls hard enough on the floor, she will break something. And I understand that this is a big facility and they are incredibly short-staffed, but that's not my fault. It is over $6,000 a month through her insurance for her to stay there. I don't understand why they keep finding her on the floor. Are you not? And I'm not, like, if you work at one of these facilities, I'm not judging you. If you work at this facility, I'm not judging you. I don't, I'm paying them to make sure that she doesn't end up on the floor. Because I cannot watch her 24-7. I can't. I have to sleep. That's just, and that's pretty much, I go home to sleep and shower, like, and make sure Sean has dinner. Like, though, those are my priorities or my tasks for the day. And then, you know, like, the one day they lost her, like, nobody, I got there, she wasn't in her bed, nobody knew where she was. I found her in the dining room. She was slouched, like, almost completely out of her wheelchair on the floor. I said, Mom, what are you doing? She said, I'm looking for you. So I'm afraid that when we take her home, she's going to try to drive or gonna try to go down that staircase without asking for help and that she's gonna fall and it scares the life out of me. I cannot physically lock her in her bedroom so I don't know what to do. I'm thinking about a baby gate. I don't live there. My sister does. So I can't... I can't be on alert all the time, and it's going to take some live scheduling. I think uh, people are going to have to go to bed earlier, and we're going to have to come up with a schedule, because I can't, I can't, I, I just can't, I don't know if she's ever going to be clear again, and that really makes me emotional because I don't know if I will ever get my mom back. And while it's great to still be able to talk to her and still have her here, um, is this sitting there. And so I walk up to the desk and I'm like, hey, the lady 
else out here and there's nobody in the hallway so if you could just point me in the right direction I'll get them myself I wasn't asking her to come help me change her I wasn't asking her to help me clean her bag I wasn't I was just simply asking where the extra briefs were because they don't there weren't any left in the room oh yeah they're in the closet right Oh, yeah, there's some in that cart right there. Oh, they're in her room in this cabinet. Did you look there? No. <laughs> no, I, I don't. And you're a nurse. So, like, when you took this job, you knew that you were going to be dealing with patients like this. Don't. Someday that's going to be you. Someday it's going to be you in that bed waiting someone to help you go to the bathroom and <laughs> karma is a real bee let me tell you um you know what goes around comes around and i am a firm firm believer that everything you put out comes back times three so i don't know what i did to be getting all this bad juju but it can go away now um <laughs> anyway so all that being said, I guess I'm really not worried about... She's coming home tomorrow, so... Um, I guess I, you know, but, like, there's one lady in there that asks for a soda every day because I take my mom a cup of ice every day. How hard is it for them to get her a soda? Like, if she can't have it, like, yesterday, all she wanted was a cup of coffee. And the, the nurse was so mean to her. I just don't understand. I went into the healthcare field because I wanted to help people. And I wanted to take care of people. And this has only, you know, further solidified the fact that I chose the right field. Because people are so surprised at how much I care for my mother. Well, number one, she's my mother. And she's my best friend. And she's my favorite person in the world. And number two... I lost my dad, so that makes my mom even more important to me because I don't want to lose her ever. I know that I will. Um, I know that that's inevitable, uh, but um, number three, if I were laying in that bed and I didn't have the strength to get up, I would want you to help me. So, and I would want you to not treat me like I was and that my mom says this a lot. Um, like I was, uh, cattle. Like, if you're gonna help me change my clothes, take the time to call me by my name. Take the time to talk to me like I'm a person instead of just flinging me here and flinging me there and up, down, up, roll over. Like, I'll help you help me if you treat me like I'm a person. I'm very, um, incensed about this right now, so I'm sorry. 
like, you know, you round it off to the nearest dollar or whatever, it will overflow. So I always put the keys in it and turn it so I can see how full it is and I just stop it before it gets full. So I had come back from inside, I was putting the cups in the car and I turned around and I was just leaning in the door and there was this guy standing there and I was like, whoa, like, and he gave me this and I know it was a sob story, like I know, I know it was. Uh, I'm here with my son, you know, he's a student and we, we gotta go to SLU and my wife's at work till five o'clock and she had misplaced her debit card and I only have six dollars and okay, I tried give him the benefit of the doubt and I was like look I don't have any cash on me which I did but I'm not gonna tell him that I will put ten dollars in your gas tank uh, we can use my debit card we'll go inside no 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 I don't I okay if you don't want the debit card money that I'm offering you to put directly into your gas tank then you're scamming me you just want the cash and you want it for something else and I felt bad because I said no. And then I was like, oh, you know, maybe. He really, and I was like, no, no, he's scamming you. The lady behind me gave him $40. And she was very kind. Like he said, oh, give me your phone number. I'll pay you back, you know. And she was like, no, like just. And then he walked over to another car and tried, did it again. Like $40 is plenty, bro. Like, I'm I do that in casual conversation, like, um, that, it was a little car, like, $40 was plenty to get you to SLU and back, like, it's, it's not that far, it's 20 miles, maybe, like, no, <laughs> so, I, that, and she looked at me and she said, did you, did you give him money, and I said, no, I didn't, and she said, you know, it's happened to me, and it, it's happened to me before, but, um, I don't know. I just got the feeling he was trying to scam me when he wouldn't just let me go pay for the pump. Like, no. And I, his son was a teenager. Like, if it had been a baby, like, it wasn't cold yesterday, so I wasn't, you know, like, you worry about people breaking down on the side of the road and having little babies in the car, but it was like 58 degrees here yesterday, which is freaking crazy for January. Um, January 7th at that. Uh, the wind is whipping again today. I haven't been out there. Um, I'm going to obviously go to the rehab facility, but okay, so I think that that is all the craziness that I have right now. I am going to film a true crime video for you that I can put up tomorrow. I'm going to try to film two, but you know how my filming schedule kind of goes, so that stuff for you guys. Thank you so, so much. We are almost at 700 subscribers. So a thousand might come quicker than I ever expected. Less than six months, I think. Um, so thank you so, so much. If you